Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online and today we need to have a look at what our hobby gift for the day is which is going to be the wonderful little pile of copper coins that's going to be 200 silver for us which is great and also as you can see I have new mail. That new mail is actually a uh, set of armor that I uh, have mailed myself and something I actually want to check is how far away from a mailbox we generally are. I think it'll be interesting to see if uh, we can get that, but I, I think what we'll do is we'll have a little look at how we get on in this area first. If we somewhat get, I don't know, basically ruined and killed because we're not high enough level or we're not got good enough armor and stuff. Oh, we got a deed as well. That's great. That's something for us to do. Then uh, from that, I will... I don't have enough room, apparently. Uh, from that, we will... Uh, in the future... Oh, well, not in the future, but we will, uh, you know, get get our pieces of armor. Uh, we will, you know, if we need to use our return home skill, if we can get away from everybody for 10 seconds. Ah, oh, god damn it. And, uh, yeah, we should be fine from there. Now we just got to traverse this area. I'm gonna take this guy out because I know he's gonna screw me over in a second. Same with this guy. Plus, it never hurts to kill enemies, you know, free XP essentially. But. Okay, now we got two guys against us. Might have a bit more of a trouble. One of them. But, um. Yeah, just get rid of this guy. We have to defeat these guys for our deed anyway. Uh, and also, as I said, it gives us XP. Now, what we want to do. Let's maybe get this guy and then go that way instead of going through about 10 enemies when we only need to go through one or something. Um, there's one specific guy we have to go against and I have to see where he is. Uh, where is he? Is that a door that we can go through? No. Maybe it's in that wooden chest. I think that might be it because it's near a dower hander. Uh, Commander. So chances are there's someone in there. If there's anything there's gonna be anywhere. So let's do that. We'll probably have to take this guy out, or at least it's safer for us to just take this guy out. There we go. And we're gonna have to get rid of something from our inventory. Do that. No, it's not even in there. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it says collect the stolen bow, and we're in the area that we need to be in. So I'm somewhat confused by where this stolen bow is. Uh. Like, I can't see where anything would be. So we're just gonna get rid of a few guys, maybe get rid of this guy as well. He's gonna otherwise walk up behind us and get the advantage on us. It might be an item that they all have, but you have to... Scarcath can be found outside the walls of here. He can't be behind there, so where is he? It says behind the walls, so he might genuinely be behind the walls. Um, but I wouldn't have thought so, considering it, it pushed us towards this area. I think this is actually one of the quests I've never completed, because I think this confused me previously. I don't think there's any doors that I can access, or at least not any that I can seemingly access right now. I mean, none of these react to anything. Ah, Scarcath is there! Okay, so... Why is it pointing us over here, I guess? Maybe it's just a general area. I don't know. Seems a bit stupid to me. We'll have to get rid of this guy. What I'm going to do is not use a Swift Arrow. Swift Bow, rather. Because we want to use that on him. But... Skarkath is over here. 
He's right there. So what we're going to actually do is set up a trap first. And then, if we can get close, get him with one shot. And then with a extra shot here. And basically, he's going to get extra damage there. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's... Um, I think I have actually completed this quest before, but I think it was a case of I was confused by, um, obviously, I, I was confused by the whole, you know, um, where I'm being pointed to in relation to where he is, because obviously I'm being pointed inside, and the place I'm seemingly pointed to has a commander there, and also has a wooden chest as we saw, and I assumed it would be in the wooden chest, but I guess not. Are we going to get any items out of this? No. Okay, so I don't have to clear any inventory. So what we're going to do for this, we are going to get this quest done for this guy, see if he gives us another quest. I accidentally just pressed F12. Um, actually had to work out what button it was. Um, we're going to give the quest in. And then from there, we're going to see if he has any more quests. If not, we're going to go... Well, if so, we'll accept them and see what... Uh, like, go over them and see what they, he wants us to do. Woe to me. Okay, he wants I'm us to sure talk it will do to no good, someone. May I speak with you? Unworthy. And that is back down at that place, which is good, because we should be able to sell stuff there, and we should also be able to um, get some mail there. And uh, if we get mail, we can uh, get our new set of armor, which I made sure I got all six pieces of armor. I think it was six pieces, critical. And actually, because I have a jeweler, I should probably go and make some uh, nice jewelry for my uh, guy. Um, jewelry is actually the one of two of the crafting things that I am highest tier in, um, which other would be farming. And uh, yeah, I haven't actually fully made it so I'm like you know I can critical on the higher levels because I feel like one well one is very expensive to get there I have like 30 gold on that account but it's it's a lot more than that to be able to get all the materials and I'm not high enough level yet to actually go to those areas it's around level 70 areas um, materials that I'm looking for so the only real way I can get those is by uh, two ways which is one eventually getting to that level and uh, then after that it's just um, getting to that level or, or just buying how can I be of service finish will you lend me your ear you're gonna do that we are gonna go to someone like over here Mago Vanen, may I help you yes you can help me I'm gonna get rid of all this rubbish that we don't need um yeah, that should be good. So, from there, if I'm correct, there should be mail down here. Yep. Right down there. And... Mailbox. And in the mailbox, we should have from my other account, this set of armor. Which, as you can see, is all critical, uh, critted. So, for example, this thick leather armor it gives us 209 armor compared to the 25 we have now. It gives us plus 5 agility and also gives us 15 extra maximum power. So currently our maximum power is 650 and it should give us 675. We are going to have to bind it to us. Uh, 665 rather. But this is going to make us, for example, 25 to 105, 5 vitality. Our health should also be going up as you can see, which is a great thing. So... That actually gives us 5 fate and five, uh, 10 in morale combat regen. Uh, I think the other one was uh, something that we didn't need as much as fate. But this, again, 5 vitality, uh, this, 5 agility uh, for the shoulder guards. And not as much armor, but it's only shoulder guards, so they're not really going to do that much. And this gives us 5 fate and extra morale as well. So now our armor level is at 765. So, for example, if I took all this armor off, for example, 224, and you can see just quickly, 762 armor in total, which 
is good. How may I be of service? Really to you? good. And uh, once we get, you know, to some higher levels as well, I can carry on doing uh, those because I actually remembered recently, and actually, you can see we've now got a gold and six silver. Uh, we've actually gone high enough to get a gold. Uh, and actually, what do we need to do? We need to find that. Interesting. Let's actually see where. That's back down, back up there. So let's actually go back up there while we talk. Actually, also we can sell this. Stuff, come to think of it. But uh, yeah, uh, when we get to level Greetings, 18 friends. as well, How may I we'll be able to create a new set of uh, armor at level 18. And because uh, the good thing is the item that you need to crit. So normally when you uh, crit a uh, uh, crafting item, you'll have about a 5% chance of critting it. I think it is just 5% on all of them. Uh, but from what I, I know, at least on the uh, tailor, you get 5% chance of critting it. And then from there, uh, you can use a special item like uh, like we had that purple item, the item with the uh, the drop of ashy resin, for example. Um, this can be used by a journeyman level woodworker. So you know all the journeyman level crafting uh, can be, can use that and have a extra. A, at least on Taylor, it's an extra 45% chance. So you go up to a 50% chance of actually uh, critting this stuff. Which um, you would hope sometimes means that it's a, a one in, like, if you don't get it the first time, you get it the second time, obviously. I think the gloves, I had four attempts at making and getting crit. So, and uh, even, like, I, I was going to make a cloak for myself as well, but I didn't know actually what, um, what, armor this cloak gave me. So I'll probably make a cloak as well and uh, I'll get some some uh, better earrings, another set of earrings. Uh, what else can I get? A necklace, uh, two more bra or one more bracelet and a better bracelet and then two rings and uh, I don't have anything for the pocket slot or at least I don't have anything that's not bound to me I think on my other account uh, or other character. So I'll see. Um, also, I think all my pocket items on my other characters are either bound to me or uh, too high a level for this character at this current time. So, we'll have to see how it goes, really. And we do actually have a deed for those guys, so that's also a really good thing. I'm thinking with deeds what I might do, it's a one of two things. I'll obviously do what I need to do. I'll do what I need to kill, or kill what I need to kill when I'm killing it. So, you know, these guys I'm killing now, like for example, if I'm gonna, you know, come across this spider because I don't want to him to, you know, get the jump on me, I'll go kill him now. But, um, I'll do those and we'll eventually, I guess, do it. But when we get to the case where we've done most of the quests or a lot of the quests and we just need to do the deeds remaining, especially the higher level deeds, I know some in Bree, uh, the expert one requires you to kill like 300 of the enemy and it starts you back at zero, I think. Um, with those sort of things, I don't actually know if we have a... I don't think we have one for bears, man. Um, with those sort of things, I'll either do one of two things, which is I'll either do it completely off camera and just sort of maybe, I don't know, just occasionally when we get, like, let's say we need to do 300 when we get to 100 or 150, 200 and then 300, uh, like, record then. Or I might do it, keep that footage and do sort of a... Okay, <laughs> the music changed, I was confused. Uh, and do like a, a montage type thing of killing these enemies. Okay, we found the Elf Sword. It's great. Um, it's not that far away, I don't think. It's only about 500 meters. We, and then uh, that means once we've done this, that'll be over for this day of recording on here. And uh, yeah, we've got a uh, we got our armor. And uh, again, I'll have to look into uh, cloaks. I'll also have to look into. Uh, my jewelry as well. Jewelry, I think, is where you get a majority of the extra, like, um, you get, like, the extra agility additions, like, uh, uh, you know, additions to these stats here, is, I think, you mostly get them, I think, I, I would thought you'd mostly get them from stuff like jewelry. I think those are the ones that have higher values. 
but we'll have to see. And it will be a lot easier for me to crit uh, those as well because I have in my vault like a hundred of each crit item um, for each level, especially I know I, I would have them for the level that we're at right now. It's either Apprentice or Journeyman, I'm not sure. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll easily be able to do that, get some good armor, uh, get, or get a better cloak for this guy, and we'll also be able to have a, um, a better set of jewelry as well. Because uh, looking at our jewelry me. right now, like this is plus one vitality and plus one might, uh, plus three vitality, and plus two. So we get two fate, four vitality, and one strength out of this. Uh, whereas, like, we'll be able to get like, I don't know. I guess imagine like twelve vitality out of one earring or something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure with that, but oh, yeah, we're totally gonna wear this stuff. It actually gives us agility, which is quite good, but it's not something we care about. But uh, yeah. That's actually going to be that because I am first off is going to do the armor stuff and I've also got to go and find more quests, I guess. I actually don't know. I'm pressing the wrong button. That one is actually not a prologue quest, but we'll have to also see if we can get more quests because we don't want to complete that quest and then not have any quests to go off. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go and do that uh, jewelry stuff now and... Uh, Bye-bye.